Part E. Table 1 shows the solubility of three solids in water at room temperature. Got a table there. Our teacher labelled these three solids A, B and C. She gave the student the information shown in Table 2. Okay, got a table here. What happens when you go in water and then the pH of the solid in water. Describe a method that could be used to identify each of the three solids A, B and C. You must, okay, so I've got to describe a method to identify each of the three solids. Must use an indicator. And I've got to use information in table one and table two. And it's worth a total of four marks. So one, two, three, four different things I've got to say. Okay, well, I've got to use an indicator, so let's start off with that. So I'm going to... Um, I've got to name my unit, my indicator as well. So I've got pH of the solid in water. So I'm going to dip a piece of universal indicator paper into each solid in water. Okay, and what do I know? Well, I know that this one's uh, an alkali, so it's going to go uh, blue or purple. I know this one's definitely an acid. This one's neutral, so we're going to get oh, it's going to be green. This one's going to be red. Okay, so first bit is I'm going to dip a piece of universal indicator in. Then I'm going to say what I'm expecting to see. So sample <coughs> sample A, oh sorry, sample A, solid A, sample A will turn universal indicator blue or purple as it is alkali and I know if I look here which of these do I know is alkali well I know sodium hydroxide very famous alkali okay the one that anything hydroxide is always going to be an alkali so that's going to be an alkali so it's alkali and must be sodium hydroxide so I've named one I've got two more bullet points to name the other two so I'm not sure about phosphorus oxide what color that will be will it be um, so will it be the um, so I've done a so will it be acid or neutral the same with silicon dioxide I don't know either I've done those two though so what else do I know well I know that um, the mass of solid that dissolves in 100 centimeters cubed of water Silicon dioxide doesn't dissolve. None of it dissolves at all. Okay, silicon dioxide, none of it dissolves. So if I look here, observation when added to water, I get colourless solution. So solid does not dissolve. Brilliant. I know silicon dioxide, there must be that one there. So silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide doesn't dissolve in water, so must be solid C, uh, which means that phosphorus oxide must be the the remain the one the odd one out. So the remaining, the remaining solid, which one's left? B must be phosphorus. Phosphorus oxide. Okay, so by process of elimination, I've worked out that B must be phosphorus oxide.